Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. This is the beta of macOS Mojave 10.14. This is beta 1, um, and this is the first setup and my initial first impressions and showing some of the new features in, in uh, macOS Mojave. So the first thing on the setup screen is we get to choose a look. Um, macOS Mojave now includes a dark mode, um, so we have an option here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the dark mode just because I want to try that out and see what it looks like because it is new. Um, that was the only option that you got on the setup screen. The only other thing was to choose your, uh, or enter your Apple ID. I'm going to close some of my apps that I had when my Mac restarted. So these are just apps that were running um, before I installed the software. Let's see, everything wants to open up. So that is pretty nice. We get a black, um, or dark, I guess, technically, home bar. Um, Everything up here is themed dark. I'm going to pop open Safari. That has a nice dark look. So it looks like everything is basically um, a dark mode. Everything's been themed. We do now have news on macOS. I'm not going to open the email because I don't want to show any email addresses or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open System Preferences here. You can see that is um, now dark, obviously. So here's your option to change um, that mode. So when you change that mode, you do get a different, darker wallpaper. It's actually the same wallpaper, it just makes it nighttime, I guess, on the wallpaper, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're going to switch that to dark, and we're going to go over to the wallpapers, actually, and see what we have there. Um, so you can do the daytime wallpaper with the dark mode. There's also this um, nighttime wallpaper as well. This is a dynamic wallpaper, um, which displays based on your location. Um, which is pretty cool. I don't know what, what changes based on the location. Um, whether that's going to be the, the brightness or something like that with the wallpaper, but that's pretty cool. Um, I'll have to see about that. Um, something else is Home is now in Siri. I'm not seeing the option right away for it. I know Siri is um, can control HomeKit stuff. Let's see. That's just the regular stuff. Um, let me see if the home app is in the launch pad. Do a quick search. Yep, there it is. Um, so the home app, like I said, you do have the actual home app um, in here. iCloud for home is turned off. Um, so we just need to turn that on so I can connect it to everything. Let's see, home, on, setting up. Okay, that checked. Okay, so now it is down here. Um, it looks like we have a new... Let me close this real quick. It looks like we have a new spot over here on the dock. Um, I don't know exactly what this is separating, but it is separated right here um, on the left and right. So I don't know what that is yet. I haven't, haven't checked. Um, so we do have the home app. It looks just like it does on iOS, basically. So if you're running this on something like an iPad, um, basically the same thing can make it full screen as well so these are just all the stuff in my house um, you know I can change my thermostat so it doesn't let you I don't know how to actually open something that turns that on and off the thermostat though I don't know how to open the slider that's not coming up it just bounces when I when I do that. Let's see, does do apps bounce when you open them? Like I said, this is just a first impression, so this is like me playing around with it. Yeah, apps still do bounce. Um, somebody said they weren't going to do that. There was a leak about that. Um, this is just like a first impressions kind of thing, so I will be doing um, like a full in-depth feature review. Siri, turn my bedroom light on. It looks like you haven't set up any home kit accessories. Yes, I have. Turn bedroom light on. Okay, the bedroom lamp is on. Okay, so it worked that time. It looks like it may have just had to like pair with HomeKit or something like that. Um, but that is that. There's a couple new features, um, but those are the main things: the dark mode, um, the home app, Siri, um, being able to control home. Let's see, there's actually a software update section now. Um, there's an advanced section. Um, so that you can automatically check for updates, download updates, install updates, and install app updates from the App Store. 
Um, so there is an update available for my printer, which is just the like the printer utility. Um, so software updates is now in settings, and it looks like if you have a waiting update, it will take you right to that section of that. So if we go to the App Store, um, with the redesigned App Store, we don't have a dedicated update section for the computer itself. So everything is just app updates, and like I said, software updates for the operating system and stuff like that are going to be in settings now, which is kind of cool. Um, I like how they put that in one place and how you can automatically download and you know check and download for updates, um, whether you install app updates from the App Store automatically, um, and install system data files and security updates. So that's pretty cool how that works. Um, a lot more streamlined for doing your updates and your app updates and stuff like that. Everything else looks about the same. Power naps, you know, still power nap. Um, all these settings are still the same. I don't know if we had anything else for the touch bar on any touch bar MacBook Pros. Um, I will have to play around with those settings and see if there's any additional customizations in there. But right now, this is what macOS 10.14 um, Beta 1 looks like. This has been Colin with Tech Out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And also check out my iOS 12 Beta 1 tutorial um, and my first impressions of that.